Oprah Winfrey is so universally beloved that after her blockbuster acceptance speech at the Golden Globes in January 2018, there was speculation that she might actually run for president of the United States. That said, not everyone is a fan. Whether these hard feelings are behind them or not, at one point, the following celebs couldn't stand Winfrey. Seal It's safe to assume that Winfrey wouldn't get Seal's vote in the next election cycle. Just days after the Golden Globes, the singer posted a meme on Instagram with Winfrey cozying up to disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. Seal captioned the post, Oh, I forgot, that's right. You'd heard the rumors, but you had no idea he was actually serially assaulting young, starry-eyed actresses who in turn had no idea what they were getting into. My bad. Angelina Jolie You'd think that two humanitarians would get along, but that's reportedly not the case with Winfrey and Angelina Jolie. An insider said Jolie refused to help Winfrey launch her Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. A source told Star Magazine in 2007, Oprah thought Angelina would jump at the chance because she knows how much Angelina loves Africa. Oprah says it's the last time she'll ask Angelina to help with any of her causes. The source added, Angelina has never forgiven Oprah for siding with Jennifer Aniston after Brad Pitt split from Jen. Joan Rivers the late Joan Rivers fat-shamed the talk queen on The Tonight Show in 1985 during Winfrey's first-ever national TV appearance. So how'd you gain the weight? I ate a lot. <laughs> you said 50 pounds. You shouldn't let that happen to you. You're oh, very Joan, pretty. You know what? No, I don't want to hear. Winfrey recalled the incident in her book Food, Health and Happiness, writing, Wait a minute. Did she just use my national television debut to ask me why I was so fat? A source told the National Enquirer that Rivers loathed Winfrey, with one insider saying, She feels Oprah's real gift is exploiting people's suffering and emotions and turning them into TV ratings. 50 Cent Rapper 50 Cent referred to Winfrey as an Oreo in the January 2006 issue of Elle magazine, complaining that the talk queen started out with black women's views but has been catering to middle-aged white American women for so long that she's become one herself. When Winfrey got a chance to talk it out with him, the rapper explained that he took issue with Winfrey's lack of hip-hop artists on her show. I would see moments where you would discuss your, your feelings on, on the culture. Yeah. And everything that was wrong with the culture was what was on my CD. When Oprah explained that she was referring to things like the N-word, misogynist views against women, and violence, 50 Cent revealed why he really spoke out against her at the time. What I was saying, if I can't be a friend, at least let me be your enemy so I coexist. Ice Cube Rapper Ice Cube felt ostracized by Winfrey because he was never invited on her show, despite many of his cinematic co-stars being invited to chat with her on air. He told FHM in July 2006, For Barbershop, she had Cedric the Entertainer and Eve on, but I wasn't invited. Maybe she's got a problem with hip-hop. She's had damn rapists, child molesters, and lying authors on her show. And if I'm not a rags-to-riches story for her, who is? I've gotten this far without Oprah, so... I'm not worried about it. Chris Brown Singer-songwriter Chris Brown had a mild war of words with Winfrey after she aired a domestic violence episode following his brutal assault on then-girlfriend Rihanna in 2009. He will hit you again. That's right. After it aired, Brown told People, I commend Oprah on being like, this is a problem, but it was a slap in my face. I did a lot of stuff for Winfrey, like going to Africa and performing for her school. She could have been more helpful, like, okay, I'm going to help both of these people out. Winfrey's rep issued a statement to TMZ, noting, Oprah is very appreciative that Chris Brown performed at her school, but she takes domestic abuse very seriously. She hopes he gets the counseling he needs. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!